these seabirds are flying great distances away from the island ecosystem out into the open ocean and they're feeding on, on small fish. Then they return to the islands where they nest and they roost and they deposit a lot of those rich nutrients that they've from the fish they've consumed onto the islands by way of bird droppings. So they're effectively fertilizing the island with, with, with really rich sources of nitrogen and phosphorus. rats interrupt that process through eating eggs and chicks. We, we estimated that the number of seabirds were over 750 times higher where there was no rats compared to where there is rats. And we could show that the fish on the reefs are, are growing faster and that they're larger for a given age. The amount of fish on the reef was 50% higher next to the islands with the seabirds compared to the islands with the rats. I'm very keen to um, encourage efforts to eradicate rats from small oceanic tropical islands because the benefits will not only be felt on the land in terms of the seabirds, we'll also see them on adjacent coral reefs as well. Climate change is the number one threat, the, the idea of rat eradication. It, it's a new tool that we can use to enhance the capacity of reefs to, to function effectively and hopefully uh, bounce back uh, while, while, while we try to do something about global climate change.